Have you ever wondered how good cubes are at different prices? Well, I'm about to tell you that today. So first off, we have the Rubik's brand, which is literally the worst one you could get. It's really bad. This one's decent, actually, but it still has really bad corner cutting. Some of the corner cutting is decent, but most Rubik's brands aren't really good. So, and this just won't turn at all. Just, just won't, you know? Let's do a solve on it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is really bad of a cube, guys. I do not recommend getting a Rubik's brand if you are, like, starting to learn how to cube. This is more for playing with, you know? It's not really made for cubing professionally. I don't know. How long was that? 20-something 20, 20 seconds, about. Well, it had to be over 15 seconds. The next cube is the next cube. It base, it's called the NEX cube. It's about... It's about $10, and it's really good for its price, so it's really weird. And it's actually pretty good for $10, because usually, like, a $10 cube would be, like, really bad. And this is actually pretty surprisingly good. It does not have magnets like the better cubes do, but, like, it actually is pretty good corner cutting. Yeah, that was pretty good except for the alignment of the last layer. Um, it wasn't really good. It gets stuck, your finger gets stuck and it doesn't like flick well. So, it's still good, great for beginners. I, re I definitely recommend it for beginners. Wait, I didn't throw that right one more time. Next up is the Tornado V3. And this is actually one of the best cubes on the market right now, if not the best. And it's just really good. Mine is, it needs to be lubed. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy lube soon. It's actually really good. Great corner cutting, as you can see. And it's just really good. And let's try solving this off. Let's end with this off. I twisted a corner on accident. I don't know if that still counts. Okay. By WCA, by WCA regulations, that counts, okay. My GoPro died, but in conclusion, this cube is the best cube if you want to um, play around. Because if you're just going to play around with a cube, why do you need something good? Because, like, if you're not, if you don't want to learn and you just want to play it around and stuff like that and do cool things, this is for you. But I don't really recommend it for cubers. And then this cube... And then this cube is good for beginners, as in, like, people that just learn how to solve, and people that are, like, under a minute, over a minute, maybe, oh, maybe under a minute, like, just under, as in, like, 40 seconds, 50 seconds in an average. This is actually pretty good for you. And then, finally, if you're a pro cuber, I definitely re recommend this one. Actually, the world record holder actually got this, used this cube, uh, Max Park. He got 3.13 seconds with it. It was pretty cool. And that's it. Thanks for watching.